What is up, Yappa fam? I want to let you guys know before we jump into today's video that we have a very special Christmas sale happening on the Yappa Tooth Theory website. All the Yappa wear is 30% off through the month of December or within the month of December just for you guys as Yappa 238's gift to you guys this holiday season. So go ahead and head over to the website yappa238.com forward slash shop or click the link somewhere around this video or at the end of this video and take advantage of the 30% off everything Yappa wear over again on the Yap 2 3 website. Love you guys. Fellas, I told you, we'd be back for you. <laughs> and I actually do feel inspired by the Holy Ghost to talk to you guys today. So, a uh, fellas, T-O-G-D, whoop, whoop. I'm having too much fun here. Oh my word, this thing's crooked. And it's still crooked. There we go, right there. <sighs> How to frame myself. And now for the intro. What's up, Yappa fam? And welcome to today's T-O-T-D. Now, Yappa fam, fellas, we're gonna talk to you guys today on today's COTD. But before that, I wanna let you guys know that everything I'm about to say in today's COTD is completely, 100%ly subject to your spiritual authority, your parents, your pastor, those who lead your life, your youth pastor, those who have been set in authority over you to lead and guide you in direction. Because we all need leadership, guidance, and direction if we're gonna live an apostolic life. We all have to be subject to someone. You don't wanna be subject to the police, you don't wanna be subject to a judge, you don't wanna be subject to the government, no. You wanna be subject your spiritual for those who are in proper alignment with the Holy Ghost. Okay, so well, let's jump in. So Yappa fam fellas, I want to talk to you guys today about being a real man, a man of strength, valor, and passion, okay? Now you as a young person, maybe you're 14, maybe you're 15, maybe you're 18, maybe you're 21, maybe you're 24, and if you're older, you probably feel like you're in the season of, as Paul put it, putting away childish things, okay? So what do you do in order to kind of up your man game, okay? That sounds so weird. Up your man game. Rah! And now I'm not going to talk about working out or playing sports or learning how to fight and tussle and stuff. I'm not going to talk about that because those are kind of very generic men topics. But there's some aspects and characteristics that we can find about men in the Word of God that we as young men should aspire to become. First and foremost, we're going to make this video quick because this thing's about to die and I pray that the Holy Ghost will keep this thing on until we're done with today's COD. So let's pray that happens in Jesus' name. So that'll happen in Jesus' name, but I gotta hurry up. They told me. So first and foremost, the men of the Bible. Bible, the men, the most manly men, from Adam to Jesus, the first Adam, the last Adam, they were all subject to God. Now, Adam's will allowed him to step out of alignment with that subjection to God, but there is a willingness from the most manly man in the world, that was Jesus Christ, to be subject to God. So that should be the first and primary thing on our list, is to be subject to God, okay? Next thing on this quick list of things to make you a little more manly, and that is to commune with this Jesus, okay? Because think about it, the most manly man in the entire universe and of all of history was Jesus Christ, the last man, Adam. He gave his life for his woman, okay, which was the church, the bride of Christ. He gave his life for his kids, which is the sons and daughters of God. He was such a man that he didn't even play around with getting even with men. He got even with the devil. He tore up the devil's kingdom. You take it to the 53rd Isaiah. He's walking in there, or 63rd, whichever one it is, walking in there with blood on his hand, coming from Edom. I know this for a certainty that that man is Jesus Christ and that's what Isaiah saw this was a manly man's man so in order to be like that manly man's man you've got to desire to be like Jesus Christ okay and what did he do in majority of his life though he was God manifest in the flesh he was a hundred percent man and what did that 100% man do he communed with God on a daily basis for hours and hours on end with groanings that could not be uttered he travailed for Jerusalem before he ever disciplined Jerusalem he wept and he cried and he gave his life for that which he loved. And so that's the reason why we got to commune with him. Jesus as a 100% man was communing with 100% God and he was 100% God manifest in flesh. Jesus as a man continually commune with God and so we as men need to continually commune with God. And that's the second thing on this. Number three, you've got to be willing to give. Okay, sacrificially. Jesus was the ultimate sacrifice. Jesus gave his life for his wife, like I already mentioned, and for his kids, for the bride 
of Christ and for the sons and daughters of God. He gave his life for us that he may live through us. And though we're not going to live through our kids or live through our wife or girlfriend or wherever you're at in the little relationship right now, there still needs to be that willingness to sacrifice and to give beyond what we are capable of giving, which means sacrifice, giving your time to the church, giving your time to the gospel of Jesus Christ, giving your time to winning souls, giving your time to that which truly matters in life, okay? Then also being willing to give your life for your family. The word says, men love your Christ as Christ loved the church and gave himself for it. He did not just give a one-time life deal where he was just murdered. No, he gave of his entire self to his church. The word of God says that we should do the same. So we got to be willing to give and we can exercise that right now with the people in our circle. Though we may not be married, though we may not have a girlfriend or maybe single, whatever, we can find people who we can exercise giving to because there will come a time where you got to give. Where you got to learn how to give in your relationship with your spouse, relationship with your girlfriend, relationship with your kids. You're going to be having to give. So you might as well practice right now. Number four, not only do you have to be willing to give, not only do you have to be willing to commit to communing with God, but you have to have something inside of you. A man's manness that says, no matter what, I will do X, Y, Z, whatever it is. The strongest men throughout history, whether secular or spiritual, they had a very strong will to say, I will do X, Y, Z, no matter what people think. They stood by themselves. Look at Churchill, look at Lincoln, look at Paul, look at Peter. They stood by themselves and they said, no, this is right and I will die for what I believe in. And that was a characteristic of all great men and even women throughout all of history. And so we need to mimic that. We got to find something, which is the truth of the word of God, which should be our anchor, our foundation, which should be the thing that we're willing to stand up and die for. We got to have something inside of us that no matter what other people think, no matter what other people say, I will live this way because this is the truth and this is the right way to live. And watch and see if taking these principles and applying them to your life benefits your life, okay? If you're not in a relationship, you can apply that later. If you're not in certain areas of life right now, then some of these tips can be applied later, but you do want to begin to exercise in whatever facet that you can. Loving, kind, spirit, courteous, courageous, strong, brave, willing to give, willing to sacrifice. And so as you can see, a lot of these parallel with our relationship with God. So take those and understand those parallels and apply them to your life. Now, I am a young man. And so to those older than I, you guys know more and help us, please, as young men, train us up and help us to learn. And young men have open ears to wisdom because they will drop nuggets, gold nuggets here and there. That's how I got my stuff. Those are things that not all of it came through divine revelation. A lot of it came through listening to ministers, listening to preachers, listening to parents, listening to apostolic specialists within marital relational bills and stuff like that. I've listened to a lot. I've taken a lot of knowledge in. So young men, we got to have our ears open to wisdom so that we can take these things and apply them to our lives so we don't have to run into certain struggles and hiccups and things like that that our teachers have possibly run into. So if today's COTD helped you in any way, shape, or form, please go ahead and leave a comment down below how it has helped you. Go ahead and hit the like button. And also subscribe to Yappa238 for more godly, holy, ghostful, apostolic content coming at you every single week and every single day on social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play. Well, not really on iTunes, but on our social media platforms, go ahead and follow Yappa238 there. I hope today's video was beneficial for you guys. I'm talking really fast because I'm terrible to die. And so, and so, and so, Yappa fam, be Yappa apostolic above all above all be apostolic and i'll catch you guys in wednesday's totd i really hope today's totd was beneficial for you guys and we got it out in due time at least before the battery on my camera died okay deuces fellas i'll see y'all in the next one